Hi, I'm Eric, and this is It's Project Day. Today I'm going to start building a robot spider with lifelike movements. I'm going to want this robot to have a sense of balance. So for that I'm going to use this MPU 5060 base chip and a Teensy 3.2. I'm also going to need some batteries. I have these LiPo batteries high-tech power management system and lots of servos and with that many servos I'm also going to need these two I squared C servo controller boards and lots of 3d printing I already have a design worked up for the leg so let's go take a look I started the leg design with these servo drawings I'm trying to align them in one imaginary plane so the calculations for joint angles will be easier later. You can see it from this angle. And I want to make sure they're as narrow as possible so I can fit all eight legs around the torso. Then it was just a matter of filling in the links. I paid particular attention to how the parts will get printed because the print direction is important for part strength. If you want to learn more about that, I'll put a link in the description to an article I wrote a couple years ago. This will make a good first prototype. Let's head to the printer. Okay, so I had to stop assembling the legs for a second to let you know I made a couple mistakes. When I was designing the leg parts, I copied the whole pattern exactly, including the diameters of, of the servo horns. And as you can see, I didn't account for the print tolerances, so the holes all closed up, which is a problem in its own right. But the second problem is that I didn't pick the fasteners to screw the servo horns to the pieces first. So I didn't make the holes big enough anyway. Um, but the solution for that is I'm going to drill the holes out and I'll be back on track. This leg isn't going to move itself. Let's go build the electronics. I've assembled all the components. Uh, as you can see, I've also added this buck converter to convert the nearly 8 volts coming out of the two batteries down to a level that the Teensy will accept. I have the two PCA9685 servo controllers and the IMU daisy chain to the Teensy including the 3.3 volts power supply and the ground using this ribbon cable all the way through each device. I didn't mention it before but I'll have a parts list in the description. Each of these servo controllers has to have a unique address on the I squared C bus in order for the Teensy to send them commands. So I've soldered this jumper on only this controller to change the address from 41 from the default of 40. But I left this board at address 40 so to distinguish the two. All right, let's go test. Okay, so I have the leg mocked up with a couple of potentiometers in this industrial joystick. 
and I'm going to use those to tell the controller to move the leg up and down and sweep left and right. I've already programmed the inverse kinematics for the leg which is basically just the law of cosines and uh, I'm gonna try it out. Here we go. Alright, left and right, good. Down, up. That's good. Alright. Hey look, we're already walking. Okay, well that's it for this week. Be sure to tune in next week where I'm going to build the other seven legs and a chassis for the body and integrate the IMU to make the robot balance. I'll see you next project day.